Governor. Hey, Governor. Uh, what a beautiful day. This is like the uh, inauguration. I didn't have a teleprompter, so I didn't have to worry about that not working. Governor, I wanted to ask you about you, you, you read the relaunch of your campaign website. Why would you spend Republican Party money on the website to campaign against your fellow Republicans here in the legislature? Well, you know, I'm very uh, thankful uh, that the RPOF is focused on the issues that I ran on, uh, that we're going to make sure uh, get implemented. So I'm very, I'm very appreciative of all their actions to try to make sure uh, that the things that I believe in actually happen. But why is that? Why is that appropriate now? It's, it's very, because it's what I ran on. Can you tell me about your weekend review of Florida's nuclear power plants? And, and, and you're confident we, we won't have an issue in Florida if we have a tsunami or any situation like that. Sure. I, I started talking with um, uh, Brian Coons, who you know, runs emergency management, uh, to make sure that uh, I had a better uh, understanding of the, uh, the difference in our power plants and the other power plants. And so uh, we, as you know, we have a world-class emergency management system in our state. Uh, he's very focused on it, and I've been brought up to speed. And I know that you know the, he's working uh, with his group, and on top of that, talking to the companies that own those plants to make sure that we don't have an issue. Governor, Governor this is the first time that the athletes that have been recognized today, both the male and the female athlete, are from the villages. Can you speak to that and what the community is as far as athletics and what it means to the state of Florida? Well, you know, in, in the village is a, is a great place. Um, the, uh, I went there quite a few times in my uh, in my campaign, and I've been back. Uh, it's, you know what's neat about it is it's a very active group of people. They are, um, uh, you know, it's whether you like whether you like playing golf or whether you like bowling or whether you like badminton. There's, you know, it's a group of people that are very, very, very active in the way they've organized that area. It's very active. On top of that, it's a big, it's a, it's a significant economic driver in our state. Uh, they're they're continuing to do well. They're adding quite a few homes all the time. Uh, we uh, we did a. Uh, I did a, a trip there, I think it was in January, and just looked at how much they're continuing to grow. So it's really impressive uh, what they're doing. See, my question, Governor, Governor can you what's, tell, talk, what's your okay. response to critics who say that the changes you're proposing to regulation of health care in Florida are designed to benefit Solantic, the company that you transferred to your wife? Sure. The, if you look at everything everything that uh, I want to accomplish in health care in, uh, in Florida is basically what I've believed all my life. I believe in the principle that if you have more competition, uh, it'll drive down the prices. If people, if you give more choices, that'll give. It's better for the consumer and also to help drive down uh, price. I believe that uh, you, we should reward um, whether it's we reward the person who takes care of themselves, eats right, doesn't smoke, exercises, things like that. So all those things are the things that I believe in, uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do as governor. Can you tell us about your trip to Panama and what you're hoping to accomplish there? Sure. As, as you know, we are a state that has um, you know, significant tourism. Uh, we are a state that has the number one tourist destination in the world. We've got a big agricultural community. Another opportunity we have is if we really focus on it is we'll, we can be the shipping capital for the East Coast and maybe for the entire country. Uh, and we've got a big opportunity with the expansion of the Panama Canal. So as you know, two weeks ago, uh, we changed the uh, uh, the work plan for the Department of Transportation to make sure that uh, the Port of Miami had the money to finish the dredge, which will get them in the position that that we have that port for sure ready for the expansion of the Panama Canal for the new Panamax ships. So this trip is to you know highlight and, and even learn more about uh, the opportunity with the Panama Canal and the opportunity that shippers have in our state uh, and our ports have to make sure we are uh, hopefully the shipping capital for all of them, all of uh, the United States. So Governor, thank you very much. I need a clarification on Dara's question. Are, are you saying that it's hey, Governor? Are you saying that those changes would would help Slantic? Thank you. I'm a parent. Thank you.